you go. Just press play. Oh, one word. My face is like worried the entire time. When I look back at our first practice at Eden Park, I recall feelings of nervousness. That was like my overwhelming feeling. I felt nervous for myself um, and my own ability. Yeah. Oh, that's hard for us. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I felt like a fraud because I was like, here's, I'm this hearty, Māori girl who's so passionate about my culture. I don't even know anything about the boy. And if you find it's not working, probably because your poise is short. She was so patient so, with me because I was, I was a little bit anxious. Papai. Oh, wow. That's a little bit embarrassing. Sorry, guys. No, no, no. You're all right. I can't even. Sorry, I literally right? can't even. Yeah. Ah. Oh, OK. Wait, because I'm like that. I obviously don't have any Māori in me. I wasn't born in New Zealand. Um, but I really wanted to take up the challenge. And I'm really, really grateful and happy that I did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that right? Let's put it this way. I've come a long way. Down up. That's, that's, it feels ugly, eh? It feels like <laughs> awkward as. Oh, no. That might be shorter. I can still remember that day very clear, how scary it was, and I felt very nervous, and I can still see it on my wow. face how nervous I was. Yeah, no, all good. It's so cool now to look back yep. and know that we're going to perform a full performance and be confident and still nervous, but getting there. Finishing off. <laughs> this year has been a tough year with the Black Ferns. We've won four games and lost four. So for me, that is pretty hard. There's a particular way to play New Zealand. Because they run from 100 metres out and they've got soft areas in them. Yes, there's errors, but I think we're really good at taking accountability of those things and making sure we nail them during our training. We haven't played England for a while and I think this was a good reflection of, I guess, what we can go back and work on again. Well, I'm a very sore loser, but the amount of growth that our team has had, I really felt that on the field. Although it was a loss, I'm so proud of our team. We pride ourselves on winning, we pride ourselves on the amazing display of rugby, and at times we've definitely shown that, but we've also um, struggled at times. But I think the most important thing now is just to take the learnings from that and, you know, grow as a team and grow as an individual. It's just part of the rugby journey, and no one wants to be on the losing side, but it's a part of sport, and we're just going to learn and hopefully grow from it. Obviously, just come off a loss. Sometimes that can cause fractures and divisions within a team, and it's done the opposite for us. It's created a lot of unity. Yeah, everyone's just a little bit tighter and a little bit closer this week. If the last World Cup taught us anything, is that it's all about what we do next. Now rule in demand. Over the hands through Brunt and Paul. Paul's got Vahakola for the corner. Caitlin Vahakola. Here it's there for Brunt. Ball back in field for King. And now Paul looking to release Vahakola into the corner again. When it comes to scoring tries, obviously I love it, but I also know where to give credit where it's due, which is to my teammates, because I think like 80% of them, I just have to put the ball down. That's my one job. Michele Tu'u tears away, there's to man inside ball. Vahakolo, brilliant from New Zealand, and Vahakolo gets a hat trick. Oh, 
we had practiced this at training, Lou and me and Aisha as well, and where she did the inside walk. The little switch first sets Ruhe demand and the quick, quick hands from Ruhe. She's able to get that through. I was really hoping we pulled it off and we did. I went right through the hole. And I scored. Perfectly timed for Bahakolo. That was all from Ruhe. She's awesome. The performance in response New Zealand were looking for their best of the year. A lot of my tries, I just have to put the ball down. So it's actually a reflection of my team's hard work, but I'm just the superstar at the end of it. <laughs> I love scoring tries. It's quite a nice feeling, yeah. <laughs> My first year of Blues, which was last year, I had just come out of the World Cup for Rugby League. It's finished off by Vahakolo. Rugby League is like, you just run it up the guts and you just run it straight at people. Whereas in Union, I feel like Union's a lot more technical. One of my strengths is that I can run fast. Runner coming on the inside, Vahakolo. But in League, I'm just so used to running it straight at people that in Union, I forgot I could actually run around people. In the corner they come, busting through straight away, Vahakola with his footwork. I find rugby union a lot harder to understand because you can contest at the ruck. There's a lot more set plays. I've really had to work on understanding the game because it, it still doesn't, it doesn't come to me naturally. Set play. Yeah, I've definitely had to grow a lot more in the union space to really be able to nail my role. Demand big white ball for Vahakolo around the outside and Caitlin Vahakolo. In the I have such great friends who are all from the Black Ferns and the Blues and they're so supportive. The last year and a bit has just been filled with so much joy and on the side of being a professional athlete, I'm just absolutely living my dream. I think when we play rugby, especially professional women's rugby, you are so focused on trying to perform well and be the best in the world when you're in the Black Ferns. Sometimes we forget that we also do it because we love it, and we, we do it because we want to have fun. Winning is not just like about being serious and about being super professional. It's also about doing something because you love it and because it makes you happy. And the Black Ferns, they're the kind of people who want to improve themselves and want to be great. And so being around them makes me want to be great. It's quickly funneled back under the right wing of Luca Connor. Connor to the line. Luca Connor back into the team and back on the scoreboard. Next year is a huge year for women's rugby. I'm scared, I'm scared, come on! Bremner takes it down for New Zealand. It's been funneled to the back. World Cup is a total different atmosphere and different pressure. So, yeah, we've just got to be ready for anything. I think the next 10 months are going to be crucial to get to where we need to get come World Cup. I have every intention to play my heart out, to serve my team, to serve the firm, and I can't wait to see the growth that we have as a group. Mahakolo wrestles away from one and then through another, now bursting through. The Poi is similar to our rugby journey this year. It's been, been a bit hard, a bit challenging, just like on the field. So if you keep at it, you keep going hard, you'll get that end result. A mightily important win for New Zealand. Boy has taught me that regardless of, you know, whether you're good or not, if you persevere, you can achieve anything, and I think that's really important with rugby. If you do persevere, we can achieve anything. Many standout performances, a hat-trick for Caitlin Vahakolo. Ready, kids? Ooh, yeah. Can I start it now? On tour, as a group, we did practice a lot. Ruahe has been a massive help. She helped Luca and I a lot um, with our timing and same with KV. So yeah, it was awesome to be around those girls and be able to practice with them and um, get the confidence that we need going into the finale. One thing our Kaiko said to us was to just be patient with ourselves. I think in rugby, we just want to be good at the skill straight away, but that's not what it's about. It's really cool that us four have something outside rugby that we can connect with our poise, which is awesome for us, and we're on this journey together, which makes it extra special.
I'm still feeling a little bit nervous because I haven't had the opportunity to practice my single long part with Stace yet, and her and I will be swapping our poise. It's the hardest part of my whole poi, so that's the part that I really want to nail. When are we seeing Stacey? I've been in Brisbane Broncos. She's been with the Black Ferns. Brickenshaw kicking on the last walk out. Great take, try. No matter how many times you watch a video, it is not the same as being there in person with someone actually going through the motion and doing an action. Now the lead court's got it in the back. They've had a massive five-week tour, so we haven't actually talked about it yet. And now Kaluna Vale, they've got advantage again. Kaluna Vale over the line. Didn't need the advantage. They've got the try instead. The time will come. We've never practiced as a whole group with the Sevens girls. But one thing about the Black Ferns, when they're 7s or 15s, is we know how to adapt and we know how to find a way, which I think we're going to. We're going to be just fine. There is a bit of a struggle after injuries. It is a long process, a long road to get yourself back to playing. Um, and this will be my fourth time round. Another player's down. Sheree Cocker doesn't look good. She doesn't look happy. I have had a lot of injuries and a lot of um, stuff happen off the field that isn't, isn't nice. So I've worked myself up to deal with all of that. So now whatever happens, like I know I'm going to be OK and I know that there's a life to live outside of the sport. Oh, yeah, easy. I hope everyone understands when they do get injured. Like, yes, not the end of the world. Probably the biggest challenge is after surgery, with the single point, there's some movements that I need to do um, that I probably won't be able to do for a couple of weeks. So I will be a little bit behind. And that's all for today, folks. <laughs> oh. Still currently in Brisbane. I've loved my two months here. At the start, I was a little bit nervous. I knew challenge, I knew nothing. And since then, reflecting on it, I suppose, it's been one of the coolest experiences. Changing codes. Play on here for Brisbane. Brigginshaw kicking on the last walk out. Great take, try. Try and do uh, a like this. Yeah, we can do it. <laughs> Up and down. It was so I've just embraced it and I've been loving it. So a bit of a journey for me. I won the Delhi M Award for Winger of the Year. It's real cool to, I suppose, be recognised for being good in my position for the season. It was cool because my teammate Julia Robinson won Winger of the Year too. Nice. I've always dreamt of kind of maybe one day I'll get to those awards because in the NRL world it's like world rugby. It's it's the biggest pinnacle event. It's like red carpet. You go there, you turn up, there's hundreds of cameras, you've got to walk past all these famous NRL players, which is quite cool. And to be recognised for my short stint, I'm extremely grateful and I'm definitely honoured and privileged to win that. But I feel like there's unfinished business because it was a short season for me with my injury never broken a bone in the 28 years of my life, so it was kind of frustrating and kind of weird that would happen at this time, uh, but I've just had to deal with it. So I'll do the standing for you, Stacey. I'm gonna try stand up. I'm gonna try, because this is weird. <laughs> Have you got any parts around that first bit? No, 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 I'm all good, that one. I am back with the Sevens for the next season, next six months, and, and I'm excited for that. The 15th World Cup is next year. I've been to 2 1 2, which has been pretty cool, but maybe it's a possibility next year. I'm still trying to decide. So, right hand in the middle of your cord, and left hand off. Yeah, that's it. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, that is worse. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> for practice, I'm doing it. <laughs> okay, one. Just rest, just rest, just rest. Oh, wow. Oh, whoa. <laughs> it's the bit that um, I've been struggling with. I'm like, damn it, this is my only part that I don't know. 
No, and you'll be fine. Honestly, once we all get together, I think um, practicing together, it'll it'll settle those nerves. Yeah. <laughs> and I tell you what, Ruahe is so calm. Yeah. It's that calming effect anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still stressed about it. I'm still stressed about that swap with Ruahe. But it's OK. Like, we've still got time to practice together once we come in, in a couple of weeks' time. One eye open <laughs> when I'm sleeping. On the mend. On the mend. This is day one. Day one. First walk. It's long city on Thursday. It's actually my third walk. You just won't One month since my ACL surgery. The first two weeks, I didn't really feel human because like, you just can't walk properly, everything hurts. The first couple weeks it was hard, but now I'm finding it a little bit easier. Now I feel like I'm on the other side and able to do heaps of movements, walk with no crutches, um, do the poi standing up, which is pretty cool. And um, there's less pain too, which, which helps. So I'm a happier person. Sorry to Gillies if you're watching for all of the anger that you had to deal with and sadness and tears and for all the cooking and stuff you had to do. It's quite nice being back with the dogs, back with the cows, mowing the lawns, picking up dog poo. <laughs> ACL is supposed to be nine months until I can play again. Oh, good covering tackle made by Kuckett. We'll see if it takes nine months or if it takes seven or eight, however long. But it just looks like me getting back into playing form. Into the hands of Sheree Kuckett and Kuckett in support to score the try. Just getting back out there again, I want Kaka on the back of my jersey one more time and I know I'm going to get that so that's the goal yeah that's the next goal <laughs> how's it been what he's been up to I can see he's been practicing your boy so yeah how you how's it going it's been good busy obviously not with rugby but with home life fitting this in with my baby has been fun awesome. hard she's like showing me up left right and center but I love it <laughs> And how you been? Um, ask me after you wash me for the first time. <laughs> and then I'll tell you how I've been, OK? We are two weeks out, but um, I work really well under pressure, so... <laughs> I, work, I actually work really well under pressure, so I reckon in these two weeks I'm going to master it and all eyes will be on me while we're performing. <laughs> Any baby? Uh, yeah, I'm a little bit stressed, actually. Oh, I yeah. think I've got the double short, but I can't quite crack the long, so I need your help. It's been a few months, actually, since we've last seen each other in practice. It's cool that we've all been practicing in our own time, now I can bring it all together. She's probably been practicing the most out of us. <laughs> yeah. To be honest. So, yeah, so yeah. she should be good. If she's not, then cut her. <laughs> <laughs> you just cut her, I'll take this part. <laughs> okay, Wahinema, we're gonna give it a go, right from the top. Number one, just focus on what you know you gotta do, because these all have different sequences. And so focus and concentration is gonna be a key component right here. Okay. <laughs> Deep breath in. You said focus, that's the hardest oh. thing to do. OK. <laughs> <laughs> because I've been injured and by myself, I don't know what I look like in comparison to the group. <laughs> I can't look. My poor injury, it's affected me quite a lot. I know there's a lot of movements and how you feel and sway with the poi. And for me, it's... Easy to do actions, but when you put the eyes, the head movements, the foot movements and everything, it's a little bit harder. So it's been tricky and frustrating. That's me out. That's me out. I'm really, really proud of Sheree. I've watched what she shares on social media and um, the emotion she shared, and I definitely felt her mum -wai. Let's go, long boy. You got it. <laughs> yes. So I'm really glad that she's been able to draw strength again from using the poi and feeling like, yeah, OK, I'm a part of this beautiful kaupapa. Before, like, the first practice with Tirana, 
Sheree had an ACL injury, but she was like really good. She could walk and do everything, and Stace was not even close to injured. So it's really funny because I'm the old girl in the whole squad. So to be here, able to do everything, and they, they kind of just cracks me up. It's the way the sport goes, you know, rugby, there's highs and lows, and I think that's what's cool about Kapaka. you can relate that to it. You, you have to be able to perform, because that's what the team expects of you and needs from you. I just wish I had their timing, because they're so in sync and they can find the beat easily, whereas I'm so unco. I'm also wanting to learn off them as much as I can while they're um, a little bit unable, so that we kind of even out a little bit. That one, when you guys do something oh, different, I'm I like, do. No, it's not me. me. I it's come her. around and I go, oh, it's her. Don't listen, I'm not listening to you. Yeah. Not listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> of course it's <laughs> not. With Porsche, I definitely am able to now see her strength and, um, and her staunchness, her pride in her tiao Māori, her poi, but then now also the gentle nature she has, her, the humbleness she carries is definitely shining through, um, but also that feminine side. I don't know if people expect us to be a bit more serious because of our life that we, we had, right, of high performance and discipline and stuff, but we love to muck around, like especially me and Sheree. Like Sheree's obviously a big muck around, and we'll get the, we'll get focused as we go. But out on the field, I love to have a, have a good old laugh. So having time with these girls, I love it. That's the best. Okay, sweet, right there. So I could imagine that actually being so hard for you. In terms of Stacey, I can absolutely see her own creativity coming out now and I love that I can actually see who she is based on her iwi, her whakapapa, that is really shining through. The beauty of poi when you're with a group is the way that you can sync intrinsically with each other based on each other's energies and the energy that comes out from working with the poi. The Sevens goes, we haven't been together. Whereas the Black Ferns have been on tour together, practicing on tour. So I feel like they'll have lots of time to practice. We've never practiced as a complete group. I'm really excited, like really, really excited. I'm hoping like our Sevens girls have got a bit more crack than the Black Ferns girls, but it's not a competition, you see, but it kind of is. <laughs> Always competitive with those girls, but it's only because they're so amazing as well. Do I want to be better than the Black Ferns? Yes, of course. <laughs> but are we all sisters? We are all one? Yes. Yes, we are as well. <laughs> Go, Stace! I don't even know it. Well, it's only two weeks out. I still need to practice my solo with Rua Hay, which is really challenging for me at the moment. Um, and it could all go amazing, but it could also go not so well. I cannot wait to see her and practice, practice, practice. Tomorrow is our finale and I'm fairly excited because we get to come together. I'm excited to see what we're wearing. I'm excited to see everyone's whanos come out as well. And I'm a little bit nervous, but like a like excited nervous, like I'm happy, like I I know that I won't be able to stop smiling when I see everyone. <laughs> we're getting dressed by Kitty Nathan's. I'm really excited about that because she's one of my favourite New Zealand designers. Whatever she produces, it's going to be beautiful. Excited and nervous because you've got to do it proud. You've got to give it mana and like do it justice when you're out there performing for her with her kaku. Can I reach point perfection? Might not be perfect, but it'll be beautiful. Boy perfection. I would love to dream it, so I'll do my best. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just excited to connect with everyone and finally show everyone how amazing I am at the poi.
go deeper into the art of poi and the remarkable wahine sharing their passion with the world. Poi Takitini, coming soon to Māori Plus.